We're here in the studio today with local real estate expert and best-selling author, Jay Kinder. Jay, we know spring is a time that people think about selling their home, but there are things that you can do now in the middle of winter that could can prepare you for that. Yeah, certainly, you know, the first thing you want to have is a plan if you're going to be selling your house in the spring. And as, as most people know, a lot of people are waiting to put their home on the market in, in spring. So you're probably going to have a lot of new competition when you do put your home on the market. So the best thing you can have is have a plan and have a you know prepared game plan to go on to the market. And some of the things that, that I would say are really important in terms of Uh, preparing your home for sale is how are you going to differentiate your home in the marketplace? And we work extensively on this because there may be in your particular price range, there may be, um, let's say your home is in the $150,000 price range or $125,000 price range, and you go online and uh, you look at how many homes are in in that specific price range, you may have 100 or 150 homes that are going to be competing with you on a daily basis for the handful of buyers that are going to buy every month. So if only maybe 10 buyers are going to buy in that price range that you're going to be in, you know, it's really important that your home stands out from every other home that's in the marketplace. And some of the things that you can start doing now besides the plan is start to, you know, what can you do to prepare your home um, and differentiate it from the competition? So, you know, a lot of times what we see with um, home sellers don't that they don't do, especially in t- uh, today's market, which is very competitive. Um, there's actually around 11 months worth of inventory right now, which wow. is a, a lot of inventory. It's way more homes for sale than there are buyers to buy. Puts a lot of pressure on price, puts a lot of pressure on whether or not uh, we get footprints to the door or not. Uh, we want to make sure that your home stands out from the competition. So things that, that as, as simple as you know getting a pre-inspection and uh, making sure that all the repairs are done so that the buyer that's looking at your home, we can market it in, uh, in a way that we call it preemptive negotiation, uh, a way that the buyer doesn't have to worry about any potential repairs that your home might have because you had already invested in making sure those things are done. So when a buyer has a home, to, you know, when they, if they do make it, to your home, uh, which we'll talk more about that here in a second, um, you know, you have a way to differentiate your home from the competitors because your home doesn't have any problems and they don't have to worry about that. It also makes, uh, makes it less likely to attract a low offer. So we talk about this an awful lot. It's about how do we attract the highest offer that we can in the marketplace? And if you want to attract a high offer, you absolutely have to, um, do all the, remove all the potential barriers you that there you know that a buyer may look at and say oh well I, you know I'm going to make a low offer because of this or I'm going to make a low offer because of that. Um, two other things that you can do a home warranty. A home warranty is uh, something that's very inexpensive. Something we offer on uh, the properties that we list for sale. That's going to cover uh, certain items that aren't covered by home insurance uh, during the ho- the buyer's um, you know ownership period. So um, it usually is a year warranty and it's going to cover things like heating, air conditioning, and um, you know this you know all the appliances and things of that nature. And um, it just makes it where like if a buyer was walking around the outside and you have an older unit, a lot of times a buyer might say, well, I'm going to make a low offer because I'm probably going to have to replace that. And when you have a home warranty, it eliminates that as a good objection for making a low offer. So these are all ways to attract a higher offer when you do hit the market in the spring. Um, you know, as far as getting eyeballs to your house, you know, the things that are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck, market research shows um, the front door is uh, the highest return on investment of anything that you can replace if you're going to put your home on the market. So, you know, making sure that, you know, that you don't have an old beat up front door um, is is an important step in the process. Um, Also, you know, just the sprucing up of the landscaping and uh, the uh, wood chips in your flower beds and really having, you know, a little minor landscape package done to create, you know, uh, if you watch HGTV, you hear it all the time, right? (laughs) You know, the curb appeal, increase the curb appeal. But there's, there's a reason that all that's even more important is, you know, when you think about a buyer that's doing a home search, they go online, they do this home search, and you know, there's all these homes, but, but the quality of the photos that get taken are really, really important. So not just doing all of the preparation, the home staging, the pre-inspection, and all of these things that are really you know, a, lot of, a lot of extra, uh, extra work, but they're going to really ensure that you get a higher price. But the, the photography that's done is a critical uh, component to getting footprints to the door. Because in today's market, the first, uh, the showing, you know, we used to say, well, a second showing is always a good thing. You know, the buyer comes back a second time. Well, right now, the, the second showing happens at the house. The first showing is online. Absolutely. So you want to make sure that you're doing all those things uh, to capitalize on getting the most money for your home.
Now, if someone would want some more information about this, Jay, how would they reach you? Absolutely. You go to the website. You can go to jaykinder.com. There's plenty of information on things you can do to sell your home for the most amount of money. I believe there's probably even a free report down, uh, that you can download there. Uh, and you can also give us a call at the office uh, at uh, 248-2600. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you.